So here it is, the Spine Cruncher 6000. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, oh, it's, it's quite sharp, I think it got me there. Um, you might want to take that off in case it gets a bit dirty. Uh, I'm most concerned about some kind of operator error. I mean, that saw is going right through Jazz's body, but I'm actually a bit concerned about harming myself in the process. Charming. Great. Hands lay down on this bed. You get a comfortable night's sleep. You won't be needing those either. Ever again. If you happen to own a giant buzzsaw, please do not try this at home. I'm going to cover you with this sheet here. It should give you some kind of protection. Ah, yes, the old impenetrable cotton sheet. Good idea, Ben. So, Jazz, just in case anything were to go wrong, I've got some medical professionals here who are going to come and lend their expertise. Guys, could you come and join me? Nice to meet you all. Welcome to this slightly creepy room here. You all look a bit terrified. And what's your name? My name is Mo. Nice to meet you, Mo. I'm Ben. Can you tell me, if a saw were to go through the abdomen, what kind of damage would that cause? It depends on how deep it goes uh, through the abdomen. How about all the way through? Obviously, if you damage any of the major blood vessels, like the arteries or the liver or the spleen, obviously, it suffer from a major bleed, and that would be very dangerous. We're going pretty deep. Yeah. Yeah. Things aren't going to look good for her. Thank you for all of your medical help. Uh, it's important that you take a safe yeah, yeah, distance, yeah. so if you could just stand back there. As Please. any good heavy machinery operator will tell you, the most important thing is to look cool. So on the shades go. Sweet dreams, Jazz. Now remember, Jazz, if there was ever a time to try and secure yourself an Oscar, this is it. Does anyone have any plasters? It's fair to say there's an interesting mood in the room. I think this may be exactly the reason they're moving BBC Three online. <laughs>